Hey, 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 Stubby here, and we are back on another episode of Stone Technology. All right, uh, so in between episodes, actually, we had a pretty fun little stream. Uh, a few people showed up, and we hung out for a few hours, got my Wednesday stream in. And the next one will be on Sunday, and that's an all-day fun fair event. Probably give away some games and stuff that day, too. Uh, so while we're doing it, we got the smeltery is beautifully up and running. We ended up automating the shoot for the input. We got into Create, my water wheel, which is I'm using the big gear, little gear method for upping the torque. And I had also had the other block. I'm going to not think of it. The press. Ah. Create. This mechanical press. Oh, that was a press. Um, but there's not enough torque to run the roller, which I was looking at the wiring for it. So I took that off, but I had the press right here, and it worked out pretty good. You could use them both. Right now, I'm feeding cobblestone into here to create my gravel. Quick resources, I was using the heavy oak sieve, which you can use a compressed gravel block, compressed sand, compressed dirt, all that. You get about 75% of the resources per block. So it's a good little quick... If you don't have a bunch of meshes, and so I was working towards the emerald mesh, I had, I got to one, and so I was just knocking out that. But now over here I have eight, and I'm thinking I'm gonna make this a four by four. You can go up to five by five. So once I get enough mesh, uh, enough meshes, we'll probably do that. Four by four, I'll do a quarter stack. So yeah, that's probably the the nicest fast way to do it without automating it with the automated ones. Uh, let's see what else did we do? We have Automated dirt with potatoes. They're gonna harvest, they drop in here, fill this bad boy up, create our dirt. We had obsidian, which you just put lava into here, creates an obsidian for you. We were making some soul sand, but it wasn't enough, so we went to the nether. And it was fun. And while we were here, we took out a nice little ghast. So that was a, not a bad first uh, nether adventure. Got a ghast here out of it. Can't complain. And what's, we did uh, some prep crafting. We did, uh, what is this, the simple storage. That was the name of it. We got through simple storage. We did a bunch of the create stuff. And just kind of knocked out a bunch of the quest lines. So we got here to Emerald. Thank you. Tinkers is completely done. We got our anvil. We went to the nether. And started into this create pack. And that was really as far I got the mystical toolbox. And then I found out the coke oven, because I need steel, is locked behind superheated. And then like mechanism and all that is locked behind steel. So it is an adventure. We are going to be working to get there, that's for sure. And let's see. I believe that that will be everything that has happened on the stream. And today we are going to try to work on storage. So I got some. It's not going to be enough. I made a nice little big room. We'll probably end up tearing it back down, but it is big enough for a quarter of the storage drawers you can do. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just kind of set it up. Oh, I didn't do the trim either. But like I said, we'll, we'll end up tearing this down. We'll go with this right here. We're going to run our compacting drawers. Let's just do those right there. I made an extra one. All right, we'll do it right there. And we'll just kind of fill in the rest of the drawers. Beautiful. We're gonna still need a few more things. I need to get some wood. I've gone through every bit of wood I've had multiple times over. 
But I'm going to want some more chess. Do a little trick dance. Get ourselves some more. I think we'll just go for enough. Let's give me 16. That's all I need right now. Come on, one more, one more. Come on, one more, one more. Beautiful. And we also, while we're at it, we got Spruce going, we've got Dark Oak going. I need food. And let's go ahead and make our chest. Boom. All right. And we're going to break those ones down too, so might as well. And we can just start stacking these ones in right here. Cool. All right, now we need to think about this. So we're going to have the cabling going. Oh, I need the link network cable. Mm, nope, there you are right there. And we're gonna need our chest, so maybe we kind of. I don't want it to. Mm, yeah, mm, we'll figure it out. We're gonna want that, that. Link cables. So link. And we could put our chest down. We could just do them like this. Link, 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 link. Oop. And you. And now we have our storage. But before we get too far, we need to make one more very important thing. Where are you at? And... I believe that'll be enough. That one. Boom. Boom. So are these upgrade templates we're going to use to make the key which should look like that. There's our drawer key. And what's the, I think I need an ink sack for the quantify, don't I? Yep. Go ahead and clear out everything else. I don't want to deal with it right now. And the first thing I want to do is move this stuff over. All right, so we'll go ahead and put the gunpowder there. We'll slide the bone meal in right there. Boom. Man, I probably should have did the coal in here too, huh? Oh, well. We'll end up doing some more compact drawers, get the rest squared away. But the goal is the ingots are going to go right here. Everything else will just kind of move on, but we want to lock it. Now we can use our drawer controllers. So if I come over here, I grab our ingots that we do have. I can start placing these. Say we'll put iron, we'll put copper, we'll put our tin, and now we have options of I could put right here 
where I can, oh, I need to do this with a shift click. And I should be able to dump this and it should go right back into there. But it didn't. Why are you doing this? What am I missing? I got that book. So I should be able to set the priority and I'm not clicking right. So let's figure this out. We want, nope. Cable, link cable. Today's made with no controls for priority. We need to upgrade to the filtered version. So we need an observer. Got it. All right, uh, observer. We'll need one of those, two of those, right? Oh, had that backwards. No, I didn't, cool. And some cobble. the court now hopefully this should work right small oh, smaller goes first So now let's see how you're working. Nope, still not doing it, okay. Now do you wanna work right for me? Boom, boom. So this says oh it's five seconds okay so I have 212 right and that should be all of them yep plus five perfect And now what you can do is you can take everything you have and look go at your the quantities that you're having going okay i have a bunch of the string so maybe we want to put the string in a drawer i'm going to have random numbers of other stuff so we can just throw this into the storage just like that and this will all cycle to the chest I'll just go through and we need to start setting all these up to smelt. So maybe we'll grab more copper. Come over here. And somebody didn't know this, so I did want to go over it. Uh, with the smeltery, yes, it alloys, so I'm going to do one at a time. The foundry does not. The foundry is the upgraded one. It does not alloy. But you can use levers. If you have a lever over your faucet, It'll just continuously pour. You put a hopper underneath your table or your basin and it'll suck it right in. So that is how you quickly automate that. And let's see, we are looking good, looking good. I wanna check on my gravel. That is flowing beautifully. It does, you know, anytime I pull out excess cobble, get cobble from digging the rooms, etc. This is where I keep it. Because why not? Gravel gives you resources. All right, look at that. We did good already. We got a 
better storage system, which means we can start cleaning all of this out, get everything moved over into the storage room. I do have to figure out something. I don't know if we really want to go plain stone, but we're going to start cleaning all this up, getting everything in here nice and beautifully. And what I could actually do is if I just knock this wall out, that'll let me double stack the chest. We're going to do that. It'll be a smart move in the long run. So we take this, this, yeah, it's another chest worth. And we do like that. Run it like there. Now we can have a second row of chests going up, and it'll also filter them appropriately. Clean you up. And that is storage in a nutshell. Now we did get another reward. We got what experience, we've got templates, and we've got that. All right, so the other chest you can use. Uh, if you want to go through the upgrade process, we can do the it's the iron chest mod, I believe is which one this comes from, but we can do copper chest, iron chest, silver, gold, and diamond. And these offer massive capacity upgrades. The diamond is like multiple chests. And we can use those in lieu of the regular chests that we're doing. So eventually we'll you know, upgrade to the copper. They're a very easy recipe. You do the chest with the copper. Copper can turn into iron or silver. Iron turns into silver or gold, diamond. So we're going to get through that upgrade. You can go to crystal, you can go to obsidian. I'll probably end up using those because it'll be a while before we get digital storage. Ah! All right, now let's see. We are moving. Uh, immersive is the next one in the line. And if we're looking at immersive, does it want both? And a blast. Okay. So in order to get to immersive, the next two we got to do is the Coke oven. And this is where the, the change in the recipe comes in. It wants this chromatic compound from Create. So we'll have to get obsidian dust, which we'll have to use the Create Crushers for. Glowstone dust and polished rose quartz with a superheated blaze. We should get the blaze burner. Crafting the blaze burner, and then you go find a blaze, you right click on him, and he gets trapped, and you feed him a burnable object, and he becomes heated. You feed him blaze cake, which is lava in a blaze cake base, which is egg, sugar, and cinder flour from Netherrack. And he goes super heated. But yeah, so that's definitely going to be an in between episodes. I'm going to have to go hunting for blaze, and we're going to have to do that. But we will get to it. That's, I think the next episode will probably be getting into immersive. I'm kind of excited to get some of these machines up. Really excited for steel. Oh, I wish we had, we, the, the amount of space you need for these machines is just, it's something else. But man, do they work great. And I think that's as far as we go without doing that. I think, oh yeah. I need to go do this real quick. I keep meaning to run over here. Eating my apples. Go, go, go. I've been using the witch water, but I never actually picked it up with a bucket to get the quest. Graphical glitch, thank you. Because with these, we're gonna have uh, sets of dolls. So lava, we can do the blazing, oh, I just had to get the blaze. Oh, we need blaze powder. And I'm not getting that in any way. Oh, dust, nether, okay, never mind. Yep, we're not getting you in any way, shape or form, are we? But the uh, the other thing that we are going to do, because what I want to do when I go to the nether, I'll kind of just explain what my plan is, and hopefully, so next episode will be queasy. 
in mechanism there is a box we get this cardboard box that we can go pick up spawners from and i'm going to get a blaze spawner because we are going to get blazing blood and it's going to be beautiful we'll have to do a second foundry or smeltery to process it but it will be beautiful but yeah so we can do the blazing doll the crushing doll to get a basalt a blitz uh, up here we're going to get shulker b enderman and guardian and what's this one a blizz and then we'll be able to get into animal crops animal crops is basically bait uh, it's very finicky you really have to use this it's not like the egg so that you have to put it in the proper um, biome for it grass you know for a cow and you have to get a distance away the number of animals there also limits them working so you can't have like a big animal area and keep putting different baits down it just it won't work but i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here guys we are getting really close we can oh, so, yeah another right we are kind of at a big stop point i don't want to get too far into the next step because a lot of it is going to be pushing towards steel so in between episodes i'm going to keep moving the base over i'm going to do some more room expansions and i'm going to go find us a blaze and we'll come back we're going to look at checking out some of these other odd and ends quests i don't think we'll be able to get to too much of it uh, maybe the jetpacks maybe hopefully get a mob farm up and running uh, <clears throat> excuse me and we'll push further and create so immersive and create are going to be the big early early systems we're going to be pushing for so I'm going to try to do a lot more prep work. It's probably going to be a day or two before I get the next video up. That's the amount of stuff we got to go into here. So hopefully I get one out. If not, I will be streaming on Sunday if I don't get a video out for the weekend. But until then, stubby out.